guys welcome back again to another tech guru video today we are in Adobe InDesign this is going to be a very beginner tutorial on the basic rundown of tools within InDesign CS6 so let's go ahead and get into it so as you see here I've got a few things laid out for us to play with so I can demonstrate some of the tools but before we even go into that let's focus in on opening up a new document so once you're in InDesign you go to file new and you have an option to make documents books or go to your library so let's go ahead and look into document once you are in the new document panel here you will see a few different options your document preset is set on default now if you change any of these settings under here it will change over to custom so let's say I'm doing a magazine and I want to add 30 pages to my magazine well I can go ahead and click on 30 here and I will now have a document with 30 pages uh, these facing pages that's if you're doing a magazine or a book like template and you want the start page to be on page number one page size can be letter legal and tabloid it can be any of these options here that's just the size of each specific page uh, and then you can have columns and that kind of stuff and all of this is getting into your margins you can also go ahead and say if this is going to be for web or now there is a new option in CS6 digital publishing for stuff like the iPad Kindle uh, any kind of digital media consumer device such as that so go ahead and click print uh, if that's what you want to do and then click OK and you will be presented with a new document I'm gonna go ahead and close out of that now now once you're in InDesign you will see all of your tools right over here on the left hand side these are what I, I like to call the main focal point tools okay the tools you're gonna be using the most the first tool we're gonna focus on is this tool right here okay this is what I call well not what I call what everyone calls the selection tool okay it is a black arrow there you click on that I can click on an object on the screen I can move it anywhere I want so if I want this over here I can move it and drag it that way now the next one here is called the direct selection tool now with the direct selection tool you can do a little more fine-tuning so you can actually click on specific points uh, like I have here on this polygon and you can actually manipulate them and make them move in certain areas and adjust the shape there so the direct selection tool allows you to do a little more than just move stuff around the next thing you're gonna see here is your page tool now what this does is if you have this selected after you have gone in to your document you can actually click on the page tool here go up to the top and you can actually drag make it smaller or make it bigger now I recommend unless you really know what you're doing I would not mess with that too much because if you are designing for print uh, there are specific standards for print pages so I wouldn't mess with that but if you do have a specific need for adjusting the page width or height or rotation or whatever it may, may, may be you can click on that page tool there now the gap tool before I get into the gap tool I'm gonna lead into this one of the great things about InDesign is its grid feature now with the grid feature it allows you to take an object like this polygon tool and if you notice right here I'm going to zoom in all of these green arrows come up okay if I center it in the page I will see a pink line come down the center vertically now if I scroll down just a little bit here I will see another pink line right there that means I am directly in the center of the page so if I let go that object is now directly in the center of the page now another awesome thing is this so let's say I've got this box right here and I want Want this polygon to be exactly in between my text and my box I can actually click and hold and I can center it and if you notice the two green lines over to the right hand side that means there is the same exact width between this test box this text box as well as this gradient rectangle here so that's just a little bit about the grid tools and there's so much more you can do with them and I'll tell you about that later the gap tool allows you to go in here and adjust the gap distance between the the end of your page so if you need a specific distance between this text and the end or the side of the page you can click and drag and take that text to the right 
or you can take that text to the left depending on what you want to do and you can do all of this with the gap tool okay the content collector tool I'm not gonna go too much into that right now the type tool is pretty self-explanatory you can click on that you can click and hold and drag and make a text box and I'm gonna go ahead and make our text bigger and you do that just like you would within a word processor once you're in your text box you can go right up here to the top of the screen and you can do all of your editing within your text you can change the stroke color you can change the fill color you can change the size of that text by going up here just like you would in a Microsoft Word clicking on that and then you can go and just start typing in your text now I'm gonna get rid of that text box here for us just for a second just to get it out of the way now the next tool is the line tool okay and you can go and draw a line vertical or horizontal however you want to do it to make sure that the line is exactly straight hold down the shift key and it doesn't matter how shaky you are with the mouse the line will always be perfectly straight okay the next tool is the pen tool and for those of you who have used Adobe products before you know what this is this is a tool that allows you to go and draw exact points and go up and actually curve lines and make some weird funky shapes and if you're an artist and you know all about graphic design then the pen tool is definitely for you the next tool is the pencil tool so you can go in here and draw stuff out just like you would with a normal pencil so if you want to write letters or draw something out you can do that with the pencil tool the next tool we are going to look at is the rectangle frame tool I'm gonna to scroll down here to my next page and I've got a few frames open for you okay now with the frame tool you can click and hold there's rectangle ellipse and polygon frame tools I've taken a picture of my dog here and I've put it in this nice uh, elliptical frame tool that I've drawn out let me show you exactly how these frame tools work it's a really neat feature that will really go a long way within InDesign okay so if I want to insert a picture into this rectangle frame here all I will need to get, do will go, be go to file and then I will go to place with that rectangle selected I will click on my image wherever it may be on my computer and click open now once I do that you may say well that doesn't look right well it doesn't because I'm gonna have to go and I'm gonna have to minimize this picture and get it the size and the width that I want it so once I've drugged that picture where I want it okay and you can see now it's kinda coming a little more into focus I'm gonna drag it up right there now that doesn't look right obviously so what we may have to do is kinda shrink the picture a little bit however it may be okay and if you want to you can actually click on this right here there's a option it says down here at the bottom it says fitting if you go to fill frame proportionately it will actually do that in a proportionate manner okay so that is how you use the frame tools within Adobe InDesign and what I've done here is just drawn out some lines with the line tool to go around my dog there now the last few things that I'm going to show you are a few tools down here uh, this is the gradient tool if you draw out a box okay so if I got a rectangle here and I can hold shift to make an exact uh, square so hold shift and go down and that will make a perfect square for me I can click on the gradient tool drag it diagonally and that will have me a diagonal gradient and you can add colors to that gradient and I will show you how to do that in a future video uh, the next thing we see here is the gradient feather tool just more detailed gradient stuff going on there and then the eyedropper tool I want to show you exactly what that can do go up here to the first page let's say I want this text to match the color of this polygon okay what I'm gonna do is select my eyedropper tool I'm going to hover over the color that I want I'm gonna click and select now that exact color has come up right here so what I will do is is now I'm going to select my text I'm gonna grab the eyedropper tool once again and click one time on that blue color now if I deselect off okay it shows that blue color right here okay is now what my fill color is going to be so if I want to change this color of the yellow circle to this blue color that's within the polygon all I will do is go up here and click on that and that matches that color exactly so right here you got your hand tool it allows you to click and hold and drag so if you've got multiple pages or if you're zoomed in you can click and hold and drag that way and then of course lastly we have our zoom tool by left clicking with the zoom tool you can zoom in or you can hit command or control plus or command and control minus to zoom in and zoom out now if you want to zoom 
zoom in on a specific feature. So if I wanted to zoom in on this circle, I could click, hold, and drag exactly where I wanted to zoom in, and that's exactly what I would see. So guys, this is just a basic rundown of the tools within Adobe InDesign CS6. If you have any questions, I answer all of them. Put them in the comment box below. Don't forget to rate, like, and subscribe to my channel. It really does help me out. And as always, guys, look forward to seeing you next time.